want you to imagine two girls, Julie and Cindy, a $300,000 property, a $400,000 property, and a $500,000 property. They don't, they, they could buy a 300, they could buy 400, they could buy 500. Julie's got a 670. Cindy's got a 740. They're buying the houses. Like they're, they're, they're looking at the same houses. They're, I mean, they're buying the house like right next door to each other. Only difference between their credit scores is that they both have two credit cards. They shop the same. They both pay them off on the due date. But the five days after the due date, before the statement ends, Julie has a few bills that go in, like the payment method is the credit card and they pay her rent and a few other things that by the time five days later comes and the, and the end of the statement happens, they always report that it looks like she's maxed out on her credit cards. She pays them off in full, but the day they report, it shows that she's maxed out. Cindy pays off, but then she chills for about a week after the due date. She doesn't do anything. She has like a $20 balance reporting, right? So here's the difference. On a $300,000 home, same $9,000 down for each of them, six to 9,000 for their closing costs. Julie, with her 670 credit score, has a 1767 payment on 300,000. Cindy, who knows, she doesn't, she just chills, right? She doesn't spend any money after that, after she pays off her credit card. She spends 1553 a month, 1767 or 1553. 400,000 they look at. Julie with the 670, 2312 is what she's gonna pay. Cindy pays 2,028. You're talking $284 difference on a $400,000 house. After five years, that's $17,000. For Julie, not understanding what day to pay her credit card, and Cindy pays attention. 500,000, 670, FICO, paying 2977. Three grand, right? 740 FICO, 2522. That's having 15,000 down, 10 to 15,000 in closing costs, a 670 credit score versus a 740. After five years, the difference between what Julie and Cindy, just in the difference in what they've paid down their loan, $27,000, okay? Don't be a Julie. Don't be a Julie, you guys. It's sometimes the tiny details. I want you to please, if you're watching this right now, all I want to do with it is try to point and point out to you where you see Vantage score, FICO 8. Because oh, our eyes can look at something a hundred times and still not see the thing that you needed to see. And so I'm just trying to point out exactly where, so your eyes are drawn to it next time. So you see, okay, oh, this is a FICO 8. Okay, why is this score so different though? I saw a FICO 8 yesterday. Oh, because that one was Experi from Experian and this one today's from TransUnion. Oh. So I should probably put those side by side to figure out if this one's a 700 and this one's a 600, there's something different. Remember that game at Sesame Street when we were young? Well, one of these things is not like the other. Like that's the game. That game gave us more skills than you'll ever imagine.